Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about how to gain map control in Age of Empires 4, why it is so important, and it's exactly that important because it allows you to play more freely, i.e. you have more tempo, it also allows you to have the resources you need to play the strategies that you want to play, and so it also hinders your opponent in playing the strategies that they want to play by taking their resources for yourselves, denying them map control, you can secure games and play faster games instead of dragging games out to places they should never be in the first place. So we're going to talk about that today. Hope you enjoy this video. So the first thing you should be doing is to be playing more methodically. A lot of people play really passively. And what this does is, while they might think that going for a second town center, getting the best timing at 5.30 or 5 minutes or whatever the civ allows, what this does is it does not pressure your opponent at all. And so their strategies are also just free to, you know, be performed and so what you should be doing instead is go for a little bit of harass if you want to go fast castle because that will actually force your opponent to do something different than what they want it to maybe they'll start playing um strategies that they're not used to instead instead of doing the same thing they always do so what i would do with abbasid is to go for a 2tc tempo but also a control build so i take things one step at a time being methodical i open up with a stable I open up with a spearman and an archer. By the way, there's a guide on my YouTube for this. And uh, so I want to get the second town center. But look, I don't have 10 villagers on stone because I want it fast. I'm going to take it slow. And I'm not going to get it at 6 minutes. I might get it at 7. But what I'm also going to be doing is I'm going to hinder my opponent's um, resource income simply by going straight to the base with the initial units here, producing a horseman. And that'll allow me to counter whatever unit that he's making. This is an opposite pure thing. You could do this with any Sif. So, go to the woodline. Have a look. Okay, there's villages there. Oh, look at that. There's 12 villages now not working. And I didn't even, you know, attack them yet. I just moved close to the woodline. This is super important when it comes to securing that second town center for myself. And delaying my opponent. So, this keeps going. I don't move it in the town center range. My goal is not to kill villagers. All I want to do is keep these guys off their resource deposits. So he pulled out his healers. He's getting techs later than he would normally. And his villagers are on resources that he would want to uh, use later instead. So now I'm in the base again. These guys are idle a little bit. Every second matters. Every second there's some resources that they're not getting. And look at that. It's seven minutes, I have a second town center, and he hasn't even moved out to secure a sacred site yet. So, having map control gives you a lot of opportunity whenever you play. So, let's say you've dropped a Barbican on the middle sacred site, and you play against Delhi. What this does is, it essentially divides the map in half, like you can see down on the minimap here. You can see that the Barbican is on the mid. He has a sacred site here, this is sacred site here. What this does is, in order to move from his sacred site to the other sacred site, he now has to move around the Barbican. It's in the middle, it's very annoying, and it provides me a direct passageway for harass to his base. You can do this with any save. You can make towers, you can make walls around the sacred sites to deny them. These are income for the Delhi. So think about the matchup. What do they want? Are they playing as French? Okay, they want deer. They want the boar early on because they don't like to play sheep and farms. They want to play with resources outside of their base. Okay, well, maybe I should play more active. And so what you need to do is you need to scout. Because in order for you to do the to go and deny those resources, you have to be able to first pick off the first few units that they make. So I scout a stable. I scout Tower of Victory. I know if he goes Tower of Victory, he'll most likely go for archers because they benefit the most from Tower of Victory. Okay, what I immediately do is I make a barracks and I make a stable barracks for the horsemen that are going to be harassing me and then the, the uh, stable for the my own horsemen that are going to be harassing him and taking out the archers on the way to the sacred sites to wall so it's super important because you have to live and adapt whenever you play a game of Imp age of empires you cannot do the same thing every single game uh so instead you have to scout and uh, actually um play reactively Sometimes you're playing maps and matchups where you can't play normally. And so what you have to do is you have to play the map and you have to play the matchup. You are going to place a second town center as a bastard to make up 
for the lack of strength in the early game against French, but maybe you don't get to place it in a good spot. Maybe you don't secure that deer that you thought. Okay, well, what do you do then? You play methodically as I spoke about before. Place that town center by your woodline instead. Secure what you can secure, and then go from there. You should have some sheep. You should have a, some berry patches, and that'll be enough to make some spears, and then force him to make some archers. That'll give you enough time to go and secure some food. So, you're playing against French. They're gonna harass you. You know it's gonna happen, but you're playing on a map that's divided in two, just like Volcanic Island here, the new map of Season 5. The fighting is gonna happen if you want to fight. You can force a fight in either the top lane up here, or in the bottom lane. Okay. So what do I do if I want to go and fish? Because I obviously want to create an economic advantage. Well, I'm going to fish close to my base here. That's okay. But I want another pond. Okay. Well, how about the bottom? That's a good idea because you're going to have your army there. So he has to move through your army in order to get to your eco. You just have to keep making an army and don't lose your army. If I place it in the top, all he has to do is send a couple of units up there and then I have to send units. So place your eco around where your army can defend but also be active and poke your opponent all the time try to take some good fights if you are in a position where you're not going to take a good fight like here maybe i could take a few knights but i'm also going to lose too many units so i'm gonna pull back a little bit and then build up some more force i do have the food income so in order to beat this what i'm going to do is i'm going to make as many units as i can very simple and then because i saw this down here that he was gathering from there. He's not on fish. At least I assume he isn't. I'm then gonna make as many units as I can, countering his compositions. So that would be spearmen and horsemen for his archer knight comp. And then I'm gonna take good fights like I am here. I'm running down the archers, and this is so much value, by the way. And then the spearmen are gonna force the knights to not take a fight. All of a sudden, I created a huge advantage, and I would say this fight here won me this game. Okay, I'm taking down a stable. Very good denying more resources and now I have map control I have the entire bottom the entire bottom is mine all I have to do is go and kill some villagers to gain even a greater advantage his army is in the base this is not a good position for the French player and a basset player that is by minute 10 having full map control like this at least half the map because it's full county island is just super super strong so this is why it's so important map control ie eco advantage so, play the game more actively. Don't go four town centers and then boom away until 20 minutes. It's not going to be worth it. Because if you can take early map control, you can deny resources from your opponent, and you can win more games because they're going to be in this, and this sounds a bit, maybe a bit harsh, but you're almost like strangling your opponent for resources. If you're around your base all the time circling, what's going to happen is, they're going to be out of resources, out of sheep, out of berries, out of deer. And if they can't push out, then you win the game because you have the map, you have the resources. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope that it will be useful for you in your coming matches in Age of Empires 4. If you have any questions, anything you would like for me to explore, any topics, leave a comment down in the comment section below and I'll be uh, happy to answer them or make a video about it, possibly. I'm streaming over on Twitch as well, so check that out. And uh, until next time, have a good one.